Hey, Nathan, can I ask you something? Yeah, what's up? Do you really feel like it messed up your childhood not having a dad? <laughs> More than you know. I struggled with who I was, trying to prove myself. Almost got in the game. You know, if fathers just did what they're supposed to do, half of the junk that we face on the streets wouldn't exist. Why are you worried about it? You nervous about being a father one day? I already am one. You got a kid? A little girl. She's four now. I was playing ball in college. Hooked up with a cheerleader. I told her to take care of it. She didn't do it. So I got mad and left her to deal with it herself. You know, she lives 30 minutes away now. And I can't bring myself to go see her. Is she married? No. I just never really loved her, you know? And then hearing you guys talk about how fathers walking out messed up the kids, and then seeing this stuff, I don't want to be one of those guys. David, part of being a man is about taking responsibility. Any fool can have a child. I'm just tired of feeling guilty. Well, let me break it to you this way. You are guilty. Listen, one day you, me, <laughs> and every one of us are going to have to stand before God. And he's going to do what good judges do. Well, and I hope my good outweighs my bad, Nathan. That's not the way it works. You know that. Let me put it this way. Who's the person you're closest to? Probably my mom. OK. Suppose she was brutally attacked and murdered in a parking lot. The guy was caught and put on trial. But he says, hey, judge, I committed this crime, but I've done a lot of good in my life. If the judge let him go free, would you say he was a good judge or a bad judge? A bad one. That's right. Because the Bible says that God is a good judge, and he will punish the guilty not for what they did right, but for what they did wrong. Because he loved us, he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to take the punishment that we deserve and put it on himself. And that's why he died on the cross. But it only applies if you accept it. That's why I asked for his forgiveness. I asked him to save me. And I'm a new man because of Christ. You understand what I'm telling you? Then what's holding you back? Nothing.